The UN says the world must cut its carbon emissions to net zero by 2050 to limit the potential devastation of climate change. With flooding, drought, heat waves and more sweeping the world, experts say it is time to drop youth into the war against climate change. Vivian Oguche has more. Before COVID-19 hit, climate change was arguably one of the most dangerous global threats. It still is. 2050 is not here yet, but the impact of climate change can be seen across the world, and Nigeria is not exempt. People see the melting ice caps, the polar bears, and they say it's not our problem. But it is our problem, because here in Lagos we are sinking. The flooding, our desert is eroding, the whole of our north, the east is having landfalls and splitting of the earth. There is a crisis upon us, and as Nigerians it is important that we face this crisis. The Dawn Project aims to combat climate change through arts, through the arts and through poetry, and through different means to bring together people who would not normally be interested in climate change. When we cut down trees, temperatures start to rise. Trees are supposed to mop up carbon monoxide. When they say four children died because generator was in the house, films overnight, or a whole family, they ate dinner and I passed my neighbor killed them. That death is strictly due to air pollution. What killed them is because they were in an enclosed space. Now, that same thing that killed them is what we're exposed to every day in the air. We need to use every means possible to promote the cause of creation care, simply because we're wrecking the system. And as the Secretary General of the United Nations said, mankind is making war against nature and she is fighting back and you can't beat nature. This group of experts have made it their mission to include youths in programs that would help preserve the environment. Our generation, we have almost lost the plot. We need to go to the next generation, the children, to take up this fight, to protect Mother Earth, to hold the Earth in trust for our children's children and their own. Science is clear. If nations fail to cut down carbon emissions, the disruption of economies, societies and people caused by COVID-19 will pale in comparison to what the climate crisis holds in store. A Plea is a poem written by Pamela Ajayi. It talks about the pains of Mother Earth. I search in vain for a saviour, while all around me I see man feasting, laughing, living, dying. Restore me, return the splendour that once was mine. Vivian Oguche for Plus TV, Africa. Hello, hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.